Hi, I'm Jonathan Sandler from Chesterfield in the United Kingdom. And I would like to explain the randomized clinical trial I recently completed looking at temporary anchorage devices. 5,000 or so papers have been written on TADS. However, merely a handful of these would stand any form of scientific scrutiny. I refer those interested in the literature to the Cochrane Review published in 2008 by Richard Skeggs that we have recently updated. The question that interested me was, is there any difference in the anchorage supplementation capability of TADS compared with either headgear or Nance palatal arches when treating maximum anchorage cases? And what were the patient views on the process of treatment? 78 patients were initially recruited into the study and then randomized to one of three treatment groups. 71 of these patients were finally analyzed. Anchorage loss in the molars was measured by superimposition of three-dimensional models on stable structures in the hard palate using the iterative closest point algorithm, which is a minimization routine. The initial molar shells are identified and their centers of mass calculated. This molar shell is then superimposed on the occlusal surface of the final model and movements of the molar centers of mass are calculated in all three planes of space. Double determination demonstrated that the method was both precise and reproducible. The appropriate statistics were used to compare the anchorage supplementation capability between the three methods. And the bottom line was that there was no difference between the three groups, except for the final pass score, which was four points better with TADS compared with the reference category of headgear. A six point Likert scale was used to measure levels of discomfort between NANCE and TADS, both on anchorage placement and removal. No differences between the two groups were found, and both methods were highly recommended by the patients. We also wanted the patient's views on the actual treatment, and free comments were generally all positive with TADS, overall negative with NANCE buttons, and markedly negative with headgear. In conclusion, there were no differences in terms of molar position. The pass scores were better with the TADS cases. Discomfort levels between NANS and TADS were similar and both were highly recommended. Headgear was the least recommended method. So, as far as changing clinical practice is concerned, temporary anchorage devices are now the treatment of choice in dealing with maximum anchorage cases. It finally leaves me to thank my co-worker, Alison Murray, my two research assistants, Badri Thiraven Katschari, and Rodrigo Guterres, and my two project supervisors, Kevin O'Brien and Paul Spate. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention.